Hello everybody, it is Slasher Shinobi here. And in today's video, we'll be going over the V4.4 predictions for the next update. So let's get into it. Alrighty guys, for my first prediction is they're gonna change the first beast and the 10th beast to be updated. Just like the 9th beast avatar, it got updated while the first beast and the 10th beast avatar did not get updated. So I'll show you what I mean. So you see how the first beast is still like normal, he hasn't updated it or anything. And also the 10th beast is still the same. But with the 9th beast avatar and the Susano, you can actually like transform into them. So I think that's what's going to happen in the next update. He's going to update the first beast and the 10th beast. Because I think it's a little unfair that they get updated. And the first beast and 10th beast don't get updated. And they still have their basic attacks and everything. They don't have anything added on. Meanwhile, the Avatar and the Susano has two attacks. Meanwhile, the first beast and the 10th beast only have one attack. That's probably going to be in the next update. Hopefully it gets added because I want to start using the first beast and the 10th beast again. But we will never know. This is just a prediction. So let's get on to the next prediction. Okay, so my second prediction is Cole Jason can add another clan to the game add another clan because between the clans you can see there's a lot of wasted space going on here like in between the middle and this is for like every clan you can see there's wasted space right there wasted space right there and also wasted space right there right there just wasted space everywhere so i think he could make another clan this one will increase the server size by 10 and making it a perfect even number so i say he should add another clan it'll be a great idea and also more players can be able to play the game. So yeah, that's my second prediction. Guys, so my third prediction is a new story mode. So it's been around two updates since uh, the first story mode. So I think it, the second one is gonna come out in the next update, it better, cause I've been waiting. So yeah, that's kind of like a small prediction. Well, that's kind of confirmed to be happening. But uh, we just don't know when, so I think it's gonna come out next update. Cause like I said, it's been already around two updates. So I feel like it's gonna come out this update, or next update actually. Alrighty guys, so my fourth prediction has to do with the shop itself. So you already know how Cole Jason put barriers around people. So you can't really die in the shop anymore. Well you can still get affected by attacks and those attacks can lead you falling off the map like this you can still fall off the map with these attacks by the way i think cold jason is either gonna reinforce the wall so you won't really get like flung out the walls like glitched out the walls or he's gonna make it so uh, attacks don't affect you in the shop at all anymore instead of not hurting you so i think that would really be a good change because attacks can still affect you like i said and it's really annoying because you know trollers just sit here with a a flingy move and they just send you to the bottom abyss down here it's really annoying because i'm trying to buy attacks and yeah i can't really do that so yeah that's the next prediction hopefully this gets implemented hey guys for my next prediction is a battle arena so i know we already have this mini little battle arena already in the new map with this nice uh watch post to watch the match but i feel like an even better battle arena can be made and it can be linked to the teleporters so you could probably have the battle arena like right here on the right of the shop and raid you can press it and teleport it you can battle anyone you want in there you could say hey teleport to the battle arena if you want to 1v1 and then you guys can 1v1 in that own battle arena without anyone uh interfering in it so if there's already people 1v1ing in there you could just uh have them like on standby or they could be become spectators for that 1v1 so I feel like a 1v1 arena would be very good because a lot of people 1v1 in this game and it gets hectic on the main map already. Like some of us just want to work on our tycoon. So I feel like a battle arena would be much appreciated. Alright guys, so for my next prediction is more moves for Lightning Cloak and Curse Mark. So you see Toad Sage is absolutely stacked with four moves while Curse Mark only has one and lightning cloak only has two moves so i feel like it's unfair that these two others get uh less moves i mean it's less robux to buy these two but toad sage isn't that far behind like only like eight robux 
it's like eight robux difference basically so i feel like eight moves is unfair to these one and two moves so i feel like curse mark should at least get one more move and lightning cloak should get one more move so for curse mark you can be able to fly with his wings his wings actually do something except not like an accessory or you can have his giant snake that he summons during the data fight and the uh, what's it called the lightning cloak you can do anything with it just make it lightning related so yeah i feel like more moves should be added to these two this is unfair so my last prediction is a simple one they're gonna get rid of the shop icon because it's taking up space i don't know what they're gonna replace it with i think they're just gonna make it smaller and move it more up to the to the middle of the screen karma mark modes so he says other variants coming soon it's probably gonna take a while before they do but i hopefully they come in the next update because i've been wanting to see what they are so yeah that is it for today's predictions